So as the weather gets warmer, it's time to head outdoors and do some activities outside with the kids. And if you can involve learning, all the better. Found some great things over at the dollar store that I want to include in today's video to give you some ideas and inspirations for outdoor play with your kids. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. I've been shopping and found some fun things over at Dollar Tree that I wanted to make an outdoor activity video. I've done this before in the past. You guys have liked them, and I have a couple of them I'm gonna put in a playlist down below. So once you watch this video, you're gonna get inspired, but watch those other videos for even more inspiration and ideas. Let's go outside and do some activities. For many of these activities, we'll be using this really cute basketball Easter basket from Dollar Tree, but you don't need this one. You can use a regular bucket it if you have that on hand. I just thought it was super cute and I had to take advantage of it because it's just adorable. Also at Dollar Tree right now are a lot of beach pails. Those would work perfectly. Also picked up some of these little plastic balls. They are in the summertime section over at Dollar Tree right now. I got a couple of packages of them. They come three to a, a package. If you don't have these or don't want to use these, you can use any balls that you have around the house. This first activity I want to keep super simple for the toddlers in your life. It's a simple ball pickup and drop so I'm placing the bucket or the pail right in the center and then all of the balls all around spread them out depending on how big your child is if they can go and walk a lot farther then you can spread them out even farther get some of those wiggles out and get some good exercise but this is a simple pick up the ball and put it in the bucket it seems so simple but there's so much going on with this activity and it's really great for toddlers now I have my older kids demonstrating for me and of course it takes them a few seconds to put them all in the bucket it. But you get the idea with toddlers. It's going to take a little bit more time, especially if they're spread out and hunting for them is fun, but even more fun is dumping them out at the end as all toddlers love to do. You can make this a little harder if you have toddlers or preschoolers that are counting and count them as you put them in. That would make a great learning opportunity that's very simple and easy. Now my girls wanted to set this one up for you guys, so this was completely their idea. It's a ball toss and score. They assigned points for the furthest away bucket all the way down to one point for that bucket closest to them. And they wanted to see if they could get the balls inside each one of those buckets. And it looked like it was gonna be easy, but it really wasn't because the plastic balls would just bounce right out. So they had to get it just right in that toss in order to score their points. So they put this all together and they wanted me to show you guys their idea for activities. I wanted to take it one step further by writing a number on each ball. Now my camera is a little overexposed, so it's hard to see the numbers that I'm writing. Sorry about that, it was a super sunny day. But I wrote the numbers one to each ball and I just used a dry erase or a Sharpie marker and that's all I did. And then once you have all of your balls assigned a number, you can do as many balls as you'd like. You just spread them around the yard. If you wanna make it easy, put them all close together. If you wanna make it hard, you can hide them like an Easter egg hunt in bushes and trees in order to find them. The whole goal is to pick them up in order. So we're learning number sequencing here. We're doing number recognition and trying to find them and put them in our buckets in the correct order. If you wanted to extend this activity to make it more difficult, you could put math problems on here, sight words, multiplication problems, whatever you are working on currently to really up the skill level depending on where your child is at. It's just the act of moving around that makes this a really great outdoor activity. And it's kind of fun finding all of the balls in the correct order order and putting them in your bucket. You can also do relays and see who's going to get all of their balls in their bucket first. Using that same bucket and balls, I have a simple hold the bucket and toss. This is a great gross motor activity, especially for the preschool and up kids because they can move around. Now I have my girls standing really, really close here because our yard is really tiny. But as you get more advanced, you can move farther and farther away and see how far you can go and still get that ball into that basket. What's great about this is that both kids are working at the same time and moving that bucket around and throwing the ball in. Now I added a little spin since my balls were all numbered. I thought this would be a great adding ball math activity. So I told my child to find two balls that equaled seven. So she had to go into her bucket and find two and she had a lot of fun trying to figure out which two balls she wanted to pick that would equal seven. You can do this as simple as number recognition. You could put letters on here for letter recognition, sight words, anything that you want. You can make it multiplication. Once they have tossed 
those balls into the bucket to the other person. Then that person can check their answer by seeing if those two balls equal the number you called out. Let's move gears a little bit and get a bucket of water and chalk. Sidewalk chalk right now is at Dollar Tree. In fact, it's just about everywhere at Target and Walmart. So, so grab some chalk and put a new spin on it. I haven't tried this before, but my kids loved it. We just simply dunked the chalk into the water and it suddenly became chalk paint. Now it's just a really simple way to switch things up. So one of my kids really doesn't like the way chalk feels when she draws on the sidewalk. The other one loves it. But when we added the water, it made it a new experience. They kept saying it felt like paint. So it's a really fun way and a vibrant way to switch up the good old chalk method. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend giving it a whirl just to see how it goes. And of course it washes off just like chalk. Now you're gonna go through chalk a little bit more than you would normally, but it's totally a fun activity to do, especially if you can get a box of chalk at the dollar store. This one seems to be really popular and I did see it on Pinterest. It is a chalk mosaic. Go ahead and find some painter's tape or tape, masking tape, whatever you have. I had this floor tape and it didn't really work the best. In fact, I wish I had some masking tape to show you guys, but it, it did its job. So bear with us as we try and work it. They just did two squares and then they divided the squares up in all kinds of different little sections and tried to be really creative with it and made sure that tape stuck down really, really good. Then they took their chalk. This time they opted to go ahead and use the water with it. So I just let them do that, but you don't have to. And they filled in all the different sections in different colors. Now you can do this in different ways. You can do hearts and shapes and stars and letters and words or other kinds of pictures. They just did something really abstract here. And then they made sure to color in as close to those tape marks as they could. And then once they were happy with it and how it looked and it dried just a little bit, they were able to peel off the tape to reveal a pretty mosaic. And this is their favorite part to do. In fact, they couldn't wait to do it. And when they did it, I heard a lot of oohs and ahs and they really think it's cool. So I can see them doing it again all up and down the sidewalk. It turned out pretty cool and they were happy with the results. Let's set up some of those buckets or pails or Easter baskets, whatever you have and do a water squirter knockdown. So I am having them turn over each one and put them in a row. And the reason why we're turning them over is because we're gonna take those same balls we used from the Dollar Tree and place them on top. Now, if you're starting off, you don't need the balls to have numbers. You could just have the plain old balls. Trust me, they're gonna have fun either way. Then you're gonna grab some of those Dollar Tree water squirters. I personally like these smaller ones that come two to a pack. They pack a lot of punch for the summer. Highly recommend them. I even have a whole video on water squirters activities. You should check that out next after you watch this video. So we have them all lined up and all on top. We got our bucket of water and this time they are going to be squirting it together at the same time. You could do this as a relay, see how many you can get down a certain amount of seconds. You can have each child have their own set they have to do. You can have them take turns, whichever. They just had fun trying to knock those balls off the tops of those buckets. They did this several times after I turned off the camera. It was so much fun. If you wanted to incorporate learning, you have those numbers on there. You can do math problems. You can have them find the one that they need uh, for an answer for a problem and squirt that one off the top. So many opportunities that you can do with this one simple activity for all different age ranges. Make it easy, let's just get closer, make it harder, squirt from farther away. I brought out our sand pails or our water pails, and this is a simple fill the bucket. Now this one was their idea. They wanted to see if they could fill up the bucket from where they were, which I thought was actually kind of fun. But what I had intended was to do a relay very similar to this, except I would have four buckets, two for each of them, but they decided to just go ahead and fill it up together in a team effort. Spread the buckets farther apart if you want to make sure that they get some good exercise in or to make it even more difficult. Whoever fills up their bucket it first wins this relay. There are 10 more things you can do with outdoor activities. So I have a playlist up here on the screen that you can go and check out next. I'll see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.